Hi, I'm Sophie Giuliano, author of the Gorgeously Green book series, and today I'm going to show you how to make the most delicious creamy carrot and parsnip soup. This is truly one of my favorite soups in the world. I love it because it's incredible incredibly inexpensive and it's also very nutritious. It's actually a great student soup to make. Now this is how and it's very easy. So let's get going. I have some oil, some sunflower oil or you can use rapeseed or grapeseed oil, a um, couple of tablespoons just heating up here. Now I've cut up a red onion. You can use a yellow onion or a brown onion. I like red because it gives it a slightly sweeter flavor and that is going to go in and start softening. Now the next thing that's going to go into my soup is uh, celery. I have three sticks of celery here so again you don't have to be too exact just use what you've got in your crisper drawer. I got three large-ish sticks of celery. I have two large cloves of garlic. I'm going to roughly cut those. Now you don't have to mince or be too exact about the way you cut these because it's a soup and it's all going to be blended up in the long run. All right, so the next thing that I'm going to do while those are frying off is I'm going to cut up my carrots and my parsley. So this soup is for about four people and I'm going to, I'm using about two carrots per person. So I'm going to, again, going to sort of roughly chop them, not too large because you want them to be able to boil down quickly. This is a quick soup. This is also a wonderful soup for mums in a rush. It's quick and it's inexpensive to make, but also children love this soup. And the key to it is that it's creamy, but we're not using cream. And the secret of the creaminess is the parsnip, which is a rather magical vegetable for making into a soup because it gives a soup a velvety texture, a very creamy velvety texture. So I've already cut up one giant parsnip there. In this soup I'm putting in three large parsnips. All right, okay, we are getting there. And then the secret ingredient in my parsnip soup is curry powder because that's what gives it a little bit of a kick. Now, we're going to use only one teaspoon of curry powder because you don't want it to taste like curry. But children love it. Again, it gives it just sort of sweet and slightly, hmm, je ne sais quoi. Don't quite know what's in there, but there's something rather yummy. So um, I'm going to put in about a teaspoon and um, no more than that because you can always add more when you are through. I'm going to stir that all up and the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add some vegetable or some chicken stock. So you can either use bouillon cubes, that's a little less expensive, or if you have some good stock, use that. Today I'm going to use some ready-bought organic chicken stock. Okay, so I'm now I'm going to put in my chicken stock. Lovely. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this to simmer on a low heat for 40 minutes. Okay, so my vegetables have been simmering for 40 minutes and they're nice and tender now. So I'm going to take it off the heat and I'm using an immersion blender. This is my favorite soup making tool um, because I don't have to slop the whole thing into a blender which can get really messy. This just makes the whole thing so easy. So I'm just going to put it straight in my stock pot and I'm going to start blending. blended now and now I'm going to try it. Last touch that I always leave to last with this soup is salt and pepper because particularly if you're making it for children you don't want to over season it. So I put a little bit of seasoning in and then I let everybody try it or pretty much let them do their own seasoning. All right let's have a little try of this. Ladling it out. It's there. Now, finishing touch is 
a little dollop of sour cream or creme fraiche, like so, and a teeny little sprig of parsley. So there you have it, an absolutely beautiful, delicious, creamy carrot and parsnip soup with a slight hint of a curry flavor. It really is my favorite soup. So remember, you can always do it yourself and do it gorgeously. I'm Sophie Giuliano.